Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to Layers of Fear. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> now, as far as I know, this is a horror game, obviously, um, where the decisions you make in the game affect the narrative of the game and change, oh, I, guess, I guess, what happens to you in the game, which is really exciting for me, but also very terrifying, because I feel like it's very unpredictable, you know? Oh! Neato. I have to actually turn handles. Can I close that again? That thunder's really, really loud. So let's explore the house a little bit, shall we? What's this? This seems to be a bracelet of some sort. Hmm, interesting. Am I like deducing shit? Am I a detective of some sort? Oh, this is a really nice kitchen. Can I pick up the food? No, fuck you. Mm. Ooh, a note. Paint. Rose Doré. Burnt Umber. Sienna. Brushes. Air fresheners. Apples and booze. All right, what's in here? This looks dark. Oh, what? Nope. Mm, nope. Don't want to deal with your Spartacus music. Oh, it's just playing in general. Lovely. It's not creepy at all. I guess I'll go inside the dark hall room now. In this fucking pantry. All right. Let's see what else is in this house, huh? What? Who leaves the... Don't leave the fucking bathtub on. God damn it. I have told you this a thousand times. What? 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 What's that noise? Is that the sink? Is that supposed to be water? Okay, it is water. I thought it was black for a second. Oh, that's my reflection. For a second there, I thought there was someone else here. So far, so good. So far, so good. What's this? Below knee prosthetic. Achilles prosthetics. All right, so someone who used to live here has a bad knee. I'll keep that in mind. If they come back from the dead to try and kill me, I'll just kick them up in the knee. <laughs> Knock their ass down. What's this say? Sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked. Although I can't imagine this mess inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Okay. So, seems like this is a room I want to go into. Gallery opening wows critics. Some shit's been scribbled out. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eek. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, you slice it. The exhibit proved an immense success. Scribble, 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 scribble. Distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of renaissance, influence, and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance. Looking stunning in her black gown, scribble, 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 revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting, I'm gonna guess that says something about a kid. The story is being put together. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as we as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I swear to God, if I get one more drawing of your dick, I will kill you. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. Ho ho ho. <laughs> your mom jokes. He's fucking shipping your mom jokes to this motherfucker. That's awesome. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no sign of a rotten infestation of any kind. And as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the new employee will, you will receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pass Pass Pacification Co. and Incorporated. Follow. Okay. Um, let's go upstairs. No, wait, wait, I haven't gone in this room yet. Nope! 
creepy basement is going to be saved for last. Let's see what's upstairs. Mmm. Thunder in the creepy house. Just what I like. I love the aesthetic of this place, though. I swear to God if those eyes follow me. No? Oh, there's not even eyes there. There's just holes. Great. Um, but yeah, no, I love the aesthetic of this place. Of this game, you know, in general. It's very Victorian. I love it. Love it, love it, love, 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 love. Ah! If you guys couldn't tell, I'm on edge because that noise alone was enough to scare me. Uh, some musical notes. Obviously played the piano. Let's hope that thing does not start playing on its own at any point tonight because I will not like that. I also don't like the fact that all these doors are open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in the office. It looks like there's signs of a struggle. Something must have happened here. Yes, that is glass. Maybe that's the noise I just heard? Perhaps. Man, the thunder just makes it so much worse. It really, really fucking does. Alright. Um, can I click any of that? No. Alright. Let's just close it. I'm not gonna take the key yet. I'm gonna look at this. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tonight is all about you. Let's make it special. You promised! Maybe that's from the wife? Oh, the big bad wolf in Real Little Red Riding Hood. That's okay. It's getting... There's a store. Okay. Oh, no. No. Okay, it's the story of Little Red Riding Hood. For some reason, I thought a wolf was going to jump out of the fireplace behind me and fucking kill me, and I was freaking out. Okay, and then this is a graphic telling of Little Red Riding Hood. It's kind of cool. Kind of terrifying, because there's a fucking uh, thing right behind me, but let's just take the key. Anything happen? No? Not yet? Okay, cool. Let's get the fuck out of this room. Let's just close the door. We'll just close that. And I don't like this singing. It makes me think there's a ghost. Mmm. So there's a shadow in that room, and I hear a ball, which means there might be a child. child's room great I feel like this is gonna be one of those games that lets you fully explore a place and then starts fucking with you and uh, fucks with you really bad oh man I haven't played a game that I mean outlast is pretty scary but it's a different type of scary you know like you're playing through it and oh that's cute little toy soldier um you're playing through it and you expect to be scared because there's always something scary around you you know there's all the people attacking you and all that this is scary in a very real sense you know like like you're walking through a house and it's terrifying that's a little rattle especially since it's very clearly a victorian house i'm starting to think by the look of this like stuff here that um no one else has lived here since Oh, I can, I can look close. Alright, that doesn't spell anything, thank God, because that'd be fucking creepy, right? Alright, so, so far we hear singing, right? Which means... Okay, there's a key to that. Which means... I'm, a, I'm gonna guess that the family died. I heard the ball bouncing, which means it's probably the ghost of a kid in here. Um, I heard singing, so it's probably the ghost of the wife. That does not look anywhere near pleasant. Let's read this. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Alright, well, Ryzen's... Oh, no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, broken... Broken glass. Mirror. Broken mirror. Lovely. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Okay. Story slowly being put together, right? Galactic's grand opening in flames. 
Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department. It's a weird name for a store, right? Turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no choice to escape the raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment of today's tragic events. Why is that on her thing? And that's broken, so maybe she read that, got angry. Uh, the husband was working. Their clothes is still here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! That shouldn't scare me, but it does. Why is this so scary? Why is this so scary? It was literally, I opened a closet and some bottles came out and it scared me. What is this game doing to me? It's the absence, right? It's the absence of anything tangible, you know? The atmosphere is scary enough to spook me. And that is terrifying. Because that means if something big does happen, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. Didn't I close that? I feel like I... I feel like I... I closed both those doors, didn't I? Uh, I don't want to know. Alright, we're gonna go into the office and that's where we're gonna end the episode. Don't scare me. Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I closed the own! No! It looks like he was painting a person and some shit went crazy. The thunders mysteriously stopped. There's a lot of pictures of demons. It looks like. <laughs> I'm opening shit from far away, man. I don't want to touch any of this. Why are there so many bottles? Was the dude like an alcoholic? Is there even, okay. Okay. Oh, that's locked? That's a little worrisome, isn't it? That's a lot of pencils. Um, I know I can take that off. I'm not gonna do it yet. Let's read that. Lost it, you deserve finish. You guys ready for this? I'm not, get it right this time. What? Fuck. <sighs> Okay. All right. Um, that's where I'm gonna end this episode because I'm a fucking creeped out already. Um. Okay. <laughs> um, my theory is that when I walk out of this room, things are gonna be different, and it's gonna be like a little PT, you know, um, where where you do something and you're in here because there's there doesn't seem to be much else in here. And I feel like when I walk out of this room, it's gonna freak me the fuck out. And there's gonna be a bunch of other shit. So, um, yeah, so that's where we're gonna leave it off for this episode. Um, oh, all right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you in my next video. Later.